hello everybody just real quick here i have been demonetized for uploading these old car movies so please support the channel subscribe and check the description below for links to merch and other cruisers goodness now enjoy the movie Another new guy, Nikki. Says he's been looking for you all day. He wants to race you down a Boundary Bay Road. Men down there now. Let's go. Once in a while, two guys would race for a pink slip, but it was never anything like this. Oh, lift lane, no more. Oh, man. What's the action tonight? Pushing 30 Gs. How's it spread out? Pretty even throughout, except for the last race with Nikki D's 428, which is dominated. What's your going on, Fred? Six to five. All right, shut him down. Shut him down. Yes, yeah, stop it then. You don't want me to win all night long and lose everything in the last race, do you? Go check it out. Bet on the Vega, I think it's a good idea. Right, Joey. Wait, no, bet nine? Nine hundred dollars? That's it. All right, good choice. Thanks a lot, good luck, gentlemen. Hey, Fitz, what's the scout? Where am I? You see an eye dog? Take a look. How come Nikki's always up against somebody we ain't never heard of? I mean, what is that? It, it's not right. It's, it's disproportionate or something. You got a problem? Talk to Phil. And don't call me Pitts. Hey, who's this guy? Serious contender. A 30 sport hot rod. This guy is packed, man. He's got a stroke small block with a lot of juice. Whoever this guy is, he's tuned and he's serious. Tell me something, Jamie. Does this place feel different to you? The cars, the people. Every week I look forward to coming down here. 
then it's different. It's not like it used to be. Pitt says if we got any objections to the matchups, we can just talk to Phil. We don't gotta talk to Phil about nothing. That's what happens when you use nitrous and you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but you got him hooked up in your truck. Hey, Art. Hey. You hear about the fire downtown? What fire? You know, the warehouse that burnt down. Oh, I didn't think that was supposed to happen till next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Artie. Hey. You gotta watch your medication there, Dak. I'm being careful. Yeah, you're being careful. What's this? Bills? Yeah, Nick. Just looking out for you, Art. Hey, Nicky. Your brother's here. What's he doing? There you go. Hold him to the line for me, will you? Get it ready. Want one of these? There you go. What? What do you want? Let me see this. What is this? Bottle liquidation. Hey, I gotta move into the door. That's the name of the game. I have a little cash flow problem, no big deal. I figured this would be a good place to spread the work. I haven't graced you a track down here in a long time. What's the action? Well, the real sleepers are the mid-70 big block GMs, Wolves 98, Buick Electras, even caddies rolling in around 13. Both in a big block, screwing a nitrous system, bang, everyone's 13 again. Uh, who's this printhead? She's a sweet little deuce coupe. <laughs> That's a big block cobra, isn't it? Yeah. He was very smart or his father gave it to him. Well, look at that guy over there. All night he's been trying to get on a track sideways. Yeah, well, I'm gonna make him feel like he's standing still. You know what you are? You're an idealist. Yeah, so? So I'm not. I just haven't tried it yet. Boy, this guy's a nut job. You think you could take him? Every race the street map personalities. Yeah. <laughs> Wuss. Don't be late for a date, Nikki. It's called a see you later, not a day. That's the deuce coupe and a cake clock. It's quite a fan club you got there. Uh, they're just kids. Hey, you want to get up the car? Sorry. No, your belt. You'll scratch the paint. <laughs> He's my personal mechanic. He loves his car more than his mother. Well, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> okay, okay hey, little brother. No distractions, you said. Yeah. Well, you guys like filled with money and good-looking broads. There ought to be a law, huh? You feel good? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Get him help. What does it take? I can't buy a ringer to beat this kid? I know I'm making money here. I'm the house, but this kid's embarrassing me. Oh, 
This is beautiful. Things could be looking up. What do you think that's sexy? Does that turn you on, Sally? <laughs> Look at what he just did. It turns everybody on, Phil. Graham, does that turn you on? It doesn't turn me on, Phil. Pitts. Does that turn you on? Hell no. You see, Sally, not everybody's turned on. All right. It's a cake. <laughs> we'll go downstairs and finish unpacking the crates. Go back to sleep, Dad. You seen your brother? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I saw him tonight. I heard he's having some trouble with his business. Not that I know of. But you know Richie, he'll figure it out. You know, Nikki, uh... It's been a long time since Richie came by the house. In spite of our differences, this is still the home he grew up in. He misses you too, Dad. See this number right here, Jamie? 4110. 4.1 rear end. Just what we're looking for. How about this one? Forget it. It's a waste of time. But it looks so cool. Jamie, it doesn't matter how it looks. It's how it works. And if this does, we'll switch to the big slicks. You still saving up all your money? Not as much as I can. And get your own car. Oh, well, yeah. Is he doing that for all the new drivers Phil's bringing in? I'm doing this because I'm doing this. Yeah, but you know that Phil's trying to take you out. Jamie! Jamie! Phil can drive whatever he wants. He does it on the street. I run my race, my way. Phil or no Phil. What do you got here? Ah, Moby Dick. You know, I never got through this. Looks like you've read it a few times, though. Okay. Do you think that girl's gonna be there? What girl? <laughs> what do you mean, what girl? You know, the girl. The blonde, Phil's girl. I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Not in this lifetime. Sure. Hey, Richie. I thought you were having a big sale today. What's somebody giving out $100 bills on the other side of town? I mean, I'm practically giving cars away here. Except for Fatso, no takers. Go figure. Come on inside. Doughboy comes in here, busting my chops, wants to trade this piece of junk. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest bomb ever to come out of Detroit, the 468 Cadillac. How much are you going to give him? Well, that would all depend on how much I'm going to overcharge him on that Bavarian nightmare he's so in love with. The Beamer? That car's been sitting here since you bought this place, Richie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. You gonna tell him about the valves? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna tell him. What, are you stupid? I'm gonna tell a guy that the car I'm about to unload on him is a terminal case? Huh, he already knows that. A guy wants a good car. He's not gonna shop here. At these prices, we're just swapping disease. Yeah, but I thought it was a law or something. A law? What am I gonna do with you, huh? You see, local law does not apply to car sales here. Yeah. We're talking about survival here. If I've been looking at this piece of junk long enough, no wonder Dad thinks you're a crook. A crook? Yeah, a crook. No, no such luck. You see, a crook don't punch that time clock like I do every day. And a 
crook doesn't have to put up with crap like this from John Q. Public. No, I make an honest living here. Well, you know, almost. Wish me luck. What we have here is one of those rare opportunities in life, my friend. This is what I call a win-win situation. So, Richie, how much you clear on the sale? Well, clear means money that is yours, as opposed to money that's already spoken for. Now, the first thing I got to do is stay in business. In order to stay in business, I got to make money. Let me ask you something, Nikki. What? Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Well, that's good. Because after all, a happy driver is a winning driver, am I right? What's on your mind, Richie? Nothing. Nah, nothing. It's just that last night when I was down at that track watching you drive, I was thinking, why is it we're not making any money on this kid's God-given talent? No way, Richie. No way. Come on, kid. I've done my homework here. Now, every week, Phil takes action on you up and down the strip. 20, 30, sometimes 50 grand. And every week, you bust his chops. You shut his best guys down. And I'm wondering, why is it that he's getting fat, we're starving? That don't seem to bother you. I don't care what Phil does. Richie, you bet on me, I race, I'm responsible. Don't put that on me. I don't need the distraction. You know you're the closest thing I got to a short sure thing? Richie, you bet on me, I don't run, period. Capiche? All right, OK, fine. I'm your older brother. You should have more respect for me. I'll be eating out of a pail soon, but don't feel bad for me. Richie, why don't you stop by the house and uh, say hi to Dad? <laughs> no, thanks. I don't need to give the old man another reason to die of a heart attack. He misses you, you know that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did he say that? Well, in his own way. Oh, yeah, in his own way. Let me tell you something about his own way. It's the only way. Am I right? Well, why don't you give him a call or something? Why don't I give him a... What's yeah. his finger broken? I haven't heard from this guy in over a year. And let's not forget who's who when somebody needs something. He stops by here, I give him a car at my cost. Yeah, only it was a 468 caddy, Richie. Well, yeah, sure. But that's my fault? Hey, look, he wanted the car. I tried to talk him out of it. Oh, see, I'm the bad guy now. Always, always the bad guy. All right, go ahead. Get out of here. Send some people down here, will you? I'm dying. Mr. Landy? Yeah. From the gentleman at the bar. With his compliments. Ah, oh, this guy's got the style of a cinder block. <laughs> you can't believe this guy. Huh? How you making out, Phil? Hello, Richie. Raymond? Richie? <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if I could, you know, talk to you a second, Phil. Over here. Excuse me, Sam. Nikki, allow me. Parking cars like this? Are... How many fingers am I holding up? Come on, you know I flunk math. Oh. Come on. You feeling okay, huh? Yeah, I'm okay. Jughead. <laughs> Sit your butt now. Listen, Art. You're gonna have to straighten up, okay? Don't worry about me. I'll get it together. Get it together. Yeah, all right. I did this time, Irish. <laughs> yeah. Why are you wasting time looking out for this guy? Because he needs looking out for, all right? Just keep him out of sight till he straightens out. I'm sorry, you know, I wouldn't ordinarily step by like this, Philly. It's just Phil. That... Right, well, actually, Phil, I would like to make a very substantial bet on my brother in tomorrow night's race. You know, tomorrow's your settle up there with me. Now you owe me 12 grand. You know? What the hell are you gonna bet with? What are you gonna do? Pull the money out of the sky? Well, I guess I'll be betting with my good looks, Phil. <laughs> and a fistful of Ben Franks. Your kid brother, huh? You're telling me you want to take all that money in your pocket and bet it on your kid brother. 
I thought you were going out of business. Oh, no, no. That was like a sales ploy, you know. Yeah, going out of business if the sale doesn't work, but... So it worked. Absolutely. You know, Nicky, he's eventually gonna lose. I know. 20 years ago, I ran the same circuit. And I lost. And I was better than him. Now, that's a lot of money to lose. And Richie, you come from a long line of losers. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, Phil, then you got nothing to lose by this transaction. 12K on my brother tomorrow night's race. Now that's what you owe me. What are you gonna bet with? Oh, now, wait a minute, Phil. Richie, don't you get it? Now we're even. You didn't just parachute here, did you? What are you gonna bet with? What do you got left to bet? Oh, well, my credit's no good no more? No. Oh, yeah. I got my lot. How about that, hmm? How about that? Your lot? Okay, we use your lot. Say 12 grand. 12 grand? My lot's worth a lot more than 12 grand. Not to me, it's not. Okay, you're on. You're on, Phil. Good luck, Richie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta love it. <laughs> Sally, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. We haven't even eaten. Can't you at least wait until we're done? I have things that I have to take care of. I want you to stay and have dinner. I'll call you. Pitts. Yeah. Joey Pitts will take you home. Raymond. Catch up with me later. Ray. Good night. <laughs> Nikki D. How are you, kid? I'm good. So how's it feel? How's what feel? To win. It feels great. You know, if you were smart, you could get rich and still win. Sometimes. Money isn't everything, Phil. Wrong. It's the only thing. See ya, Nikki. Excuse me. Sit down. Phil wants you to stay. I'm not Phil's property and I'm not hey, yours. just relax and sit down. Don't tell me what to do. What the hell do you think he's doing? Get me out of here, Pip. Let go of me. Let go. Just shut up and I'll take you home. Goose. In about 10 seconds, Pitts is going to realize he looks real bad with you walking out on him. You don't have time to think about it. Best view of the city you'll ever find. So what's your name? Sally. I'm Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I, I was just glad I was there. <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, you want to have some fun? What do you have in mind? See this? It's yours. You can grab it anywhere in the quarter mile. A hundred dollar bill. Yeah. Are there any rules? Yeah. Just keep your head back against the seat. And don't try to climb out. You ready? Fun. Of course, you could have killed us. I would never hurt you. I saw this wreck in the field on the way to Boundary Bay. It was all burned out. What is it? It's a monument. The guy took on some pros, he tried to run them clean. What happened? He didn't make it. Nikki, I've got to go. Um, can I see you again? Why? Why? Oh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought maybe you can come see me race tomorrow night. I can't. I'm working. Why'd you do that? What, were you gonna use it again or something? No, no, no way. Here's my number and where I'll be working all week. Maybe you can come see me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll tell him, but uh, I don't think he's gonna like it. Yeah. I just talked to Baker over in their department. We're gonna have to make a few more contributions. Is that something I should be concerned about, Raymond? No, but we're attracting a lot of heat. Especially since that last fire. There's some talk of a grand jury. All right. They got nothing on me. Oh! You know, too, I don't get you, man. Everybody knows you were my crew. Now, when you go do a piece of work for us, steal a car, start a fire, wear a shirt. If I wanted to advertise, I'd buy a billboard. Raymond, I want you to take a full inventory of Richie's lot. I wouldn't want to see any of those fine cars disappear in the middle of the night. They're worth a lot of money to me just in parts alone. What do you want us to do about Richie? Sometimes unlucky things happen to people. So am I driving tomorrow night? No. Dutch, are we clear on what needs to be done? How's your health? The Dutch man, yeah. <laughs> Coop and 
1105. I don't like it. What do you mean? You don't like what? Well, whoever he is, he has no respect for his car. Well, you can beat him, right? I mean, I thought you said you could beat anything out here. That ain't from around here, Richie. The whole thing. Big race, more cars. I used to know every guy out here. Every piece of equipment under his hood. And what was going on inside their head. Racing guys like that is like playing Russian roulette. You understand? Not a game you play with friends. What'd you find out? Well, he's out of state. A couple of guys from Red Hook say he's running a rat motor with a huffer. Do you want me to prep the car? Forget it, I'm out. Oh, what do you mean, Nikki? You can beat this guy. I got a bad feeling here, Jamie. I run this guy, maybe I win, maybe I lose. That's not the point. I run him clean, you understand? Now with this feeling in my gut. Another night. All right, so this guy's not local, right? So that's against the rules, right? Rules? Richie, there's no rules. They're all Phil's rules. But I got no stake here. I run who I want, if I want, when I want. Wait a minute. I thought you told me you raced the street, not the personnel. Yeah, he's no different from everybody else. There you go. No matter what they throw at you. There it is. Phil or no Phil, right? That a boy. I want you to stand up. Burn it up. Just do it, touch me. Okay. Yes, yes. I got faith in you. See you at the finish line, Art. Get out of here now. Nikki? No, Richie. Come on. Come on. Make sure you stay close if we need anything. I ain't going anywhere.
You get everything squared away inside, you're Nicky Donatello, right? What do you want? Detective Baskin. I'm with a special commission investigating the activities of Philip Landy in the boroughs. Look, I'll try to make this simple. You were involved in an illegal activity tonight which resulted in a death. Technically, we could charge you with manslaughter. But the word is that the driver that killed your friend worked for Phil Landy. You confirm that for us. It'll go a long way to shutting Landy down. I already went through this inside. I'm not saying anything. You want to arrest me, you go ahead. You know I didn't do it. Think about it. So what are you going to do? I'm going to rat on Phil to this guy? What's that going to prove, Dad? I bet you half the guys in the force already worked for him. Commission task force? That just means Phil's got to pay a higher price in the end. Then where the hell will I be, huh? No way. They know all they need to know. They just can't prove it. What are you thinking about? Let's go home to something I need to show you. That's how I think about it. That's how I remember it. There's Richie. And there's me. I look like a stick. <laughs> and that's the place the three of us used to go on Sundays. We play ball all day. See this building? 500 people used to work there. Now it's gone. Burned to the ground. And because of guys like Phil, so is this one and this one. Look at, look at Richie and this one. Every second picture he's making a face. What do you got against Richie, Dad? He's no different than anybody else in this city. It's nothing to be happy about. Richie just doesn't give a damn. He doesn't care about people. He lives for himself. That doesn't make him fit to live with. People have to be careful about the men they choose to follow. You have to make up your own mind about what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, I'm looking for Sally. Come on in.
What would you like to do? Meet me at the restaurant. We're closed, you hear? Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Unless, of course, you've got a pocket full of cash. In which case, sir, I am at your service. Sorry, kid, you caught me in the middle of a terrible dream. It wasn't a dream, Richie. It was a nightmare. I don't know what to tell you, kid, other than... I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am sorry. You know, Nikki, there's not a car in a slot worth stealing. Sad state of affairs for somebody in my business. Makes you wonder why I've been making insurance payments all these years. What are you talking about? I'm finished here, kid. They're rolling up the sidewalks on me. These, these vampires, they want to take my cars off my lot and feed them to their chop shops. I'm out of business for good. Richie, who is going to take everything? I never wanted to be one of Phil Stooges. I built this place because I wanted to have something for myself, something, something for us. Now look at me. You're into Phil? Richie, what about the 12,000 you got from the guy with the caddy? I'd bet it on you, Nicky. No! <laughs> You screwed up, Richie! It's easy for you to sit back, pretend, and roll the dice, and hope things work out. And if they don't, you can always blame it on luck. Right, Richie? Don't you lay that on me. Not now. You run that strip, and sooner or later, you're gonna buy one. You're no special case. He pushed me! Big deal! What's that, the first time? You wanna feel sorry for yourself? Go ahead. Feel bad for yourself. I'm not feeling bad for myself, Richie. Maybe you could feel a little bit bad for me, huh? I mean, you lost, you're still walking. Me, I haven't even begun to lose. You know, I'm getting as far away from this disaster as I can, Richie. That was right. You're a loser. Shoot, sure, Nick, walk away. Walk away! You're not holy to now! You hear me, Nicky? You are not holier than now! What's your brother doing up there? Oh, I get it. Watch this. I've seen this happen with Roscoe before. You see, he's gonna slip the keys to those girls' Mercedes to Richie. Richie's gonna have them copied and back here before these ladies are done with their appetizer. By tomorrow, bada boom, that car, it's history. Finite. Give him the keys. Roscoe. 
Did you give him the keys of Mercedes? Just trying to make a buck, man. Just trying to make a buck. You know, you'll have to make up your mind sooner or later. I'm sorry? Whether you're coming or going. I'm just waiting for a friend. She just hasn't shown up yet. How terrible for you. Yeah. Excuse me. Would you bring this poor man a drink on us? Yes, sir. Club soda, Dennis. OK. Thanks. What am I supposed to do if he doesn't get back here in time? I tell him the keys got lost. Of course, it's going to look kind of funny when I find out the registration's gone too, Roscoe. You did give him the registration, didn't you? Of course. Real professionals. I'll stall him, Roscoe. Dennis, help me out with these girls. Buy him another bottle of wine. I was in the house. All right. You know, it's best to get on with your life sometimes rather than waiting for something that's never going to happen. She, the, the person I'm waiting for, is late. Really? You don't have to put up with it, you know. And there are other, more enjoyable ways of spending an evening. I guess she has an effect on me. Only as long as we stay here. Maybe she deserves one more chance. So, so do we. we. Thanks for the drink. Hey, no sweat, man. Yeah, right. Richie, you stupid! Jamie, where's Richie? Nikki, I, I gotta go, okay? You promised me a hundred bucks if I bring him the keys to the Mercedes. Jamie, tell me where Richie is. Fine. We'll just leave them there all night then. in the control. Who do you think you are? Huh? Richie, I'm not going to help you out with this. Who asked for your help? Just give me the keys and go. Will you just get in my car and go home? at the docks, they're the ones that Phil deals his best cars to. After he's done picking over my lot, he's... <laughs> he's gonna have me stealing cars anyway. So might as well beat him to it. Okay, I make this score. I pay Phil back, maybe, maybe I get to keep my lot. I got no choice here, Nikki. It's the one. Well, it's a lot harder than it looks, Richie. Look, I, I'm not asking you to do nothing you don't want to do. Just give me the keys, my little brother. Go home.
Okay, Richie, I'll drive the Mercedes. All you gotta do is watch me, you got that? Don't think, don't panic. Just do what I do when I do it. Nobody needs to get hurt. We do this thing, Richie. We do this thing, you clean the slate, and life goes on. All right? Right. Right. All right, which pier? 39. All right, let's do it. Grown up, she always used to say to me, when you go to Italy and you have a chance to visit that beautiful city of Naples, be careful. When you go to the train station, the guys in the raincoats, when they open them up, bada boom. Hello, Sally. Bill. I heard you took a fast ride the other night. Did it turn you out? Yeah, it did. You think Nicky cares about you? I mean, can't you see that he just wants to be me? No, Phil. He doesn't want to be you. Yeah, right. Hey, Sally. Nikki just called. Said he got hung up on something and uh, he'll call you later. Huh? Looks like you bought the wrong package. Come on, baby. Let's go. Look at this, 15 grand, huh? Ah, yeah, you, you want this. I know it wasn't exactly clockwork, but you gotta admit, it was a kick. Yeah, I want you to have this. No. Now, come on, no, you Richie. put it on the line back there for me tonight. I don't need any favors. I did that thing to get you out of a jam. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't say you know, just take care of your business. It's a one-shot deal, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I'll drop you off. Where you going? Uh, I got plans. Plans? What kind of plans? Plans, as in I'm busy. Nikki got a date? <laughs> Richie, Richie, just leave me alone. Who is she? It's just a girl. Well, what's her name? I mean, maybe I know her. Her name is Sally. Sally, well, that's a nice name. Not Sally as in Phil Sally. Oh, no, little brother. Her name is not Sally. It's Sue. Yes, I... What is the matter with you? Better you should put a gun to your head, pull the trigger. Maybe you save yourself some time. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I don't. Huh. Did you notice that beautiful face? Those laughing eyes? Those pretty red lips? Those are warning signs, my friend. And they are blinking. Keep away. I got a feeling about this broad, Nikki. 
And you got to admit, in the field of self-destructive behavior, I know from whence I speak. Yeah, yeah, there you got a point. Yeah, but by the way I comb my hair, baby, nobody can tell. Come on, let's go. Hi. Hi. Where were you? Sorry, my brother got in a little trouble. Anything serious? No, he just has a strange way of dealing with his problems. Listen, why don't we start this whole evening over again? Okay. Okay. Um... Can I ask you something? What? What's with you and Phil? Phil was a big mistake. So there's nothing between you two? Right. That's good. That's good. Um, you ever had a pickles and mayonnaise ground up in a tortilla shell? Fifteen bridges and four tunnels going in and out of this city. That means there's, there's what? There's 19 different ways to get out of here. But you can't cross any of them until you're really free. Let's say I give this money to Phil. Am I free? Still under his thumb. Yes, yes! Woo! You know what I need? I need a steak. I need to turn this money into freedom. Now, let's just say, let's say I pay Phil, right? Yeah, I keep my lot, but then where does that leave me? Back at zero. To hell with Phil. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you better watch yourself with that mouth, Richie. Things got a way of getting back. Oh, yeah? So what, Squatch? You know why? Because I'm out of here before Phil even knows what's going on. Cause even rats leave a sinking ship, and God knows, this neighborhood is going down. <laughs> so. What? Let me ask you something. Um, that, mm -hmm. that photo shoot thing, mm -hmm. you know? That outfit you were wearing? Yeah, you like it? Who's the genius that masterminded that? I could get you one. Yeah, great. <laughs> hey, wanna go in there? In there? Yeah, it'll be fun. All right. that I think your work is great. Good luck. That was pretty weird. She thought you were the artist because you're the only one not looking at the paintings. It's just, uh, I mean, why is it so quiet in here? Because nobody wants to expose the fact that they don't know anything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, check out this guy in the corner. That's pretty serious, honey.
No offense, but for once you're up. Why screw with it? Oh. My friend, for the first time in my life, I'm just barely peeking over the curb. And you know what? I like the view. You're playing a crazy game, a dangerous game, man. Richie. Excuse me, gentlemen. Roscoe! Roscoe, my man. What's up? You know we saw all Raymond's cars? Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> I heard him talk about some book. What, One of Raymond. Where'd you end? They were at the restaurant. One of Raymond's books with all of Phil's numbers was in that car. I don't know nothing about an old book. You mean you don't have it? Wait a second now. Let me figure this. They, they don't know that I don't have their little book. Richie. And no. I could no, no, wait a minute. I could make something really happen here instead of always waiting for it to happen to me. Oh yeah, Roscoe, this is great. It's like a little gift from God. For me for once, huh? This is a gift that's gonna keep Phil giving and giving. Go home. Go home. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of everything. Go, go. you got everything figured out and something happens and you realize you don't know anything yeah for instance have you read all those books school is tough for me Sally you know I wanted to be good at something I wanted to be different I wanted to be a winner and that's what my car meant to me. Driving it, fixing it up. It was something that came real natural. It was something I always could do. When I'm in my car, I mean, I feel like a, like a fighter pilot feels in that jet, you know? Speed, power. And he's got everything going for him, everything. He knows just how to let it go, how to feather it, how to get it off that deck. You know, when I got my hands on the wheel, I don't even have to think. I know right from the start, I'm going to win. And no one, no one can take that away from me when it's right. No one. Then it ended just like that. When Art died. It's over for me now, Sally. Morrison is done. I killed it. I killed it the moment I drove when I knew I shouldn't have. But in this moment, you made me forget it. Just now. You made me forget it. Mr. Donatello, I've been looking for you. You're being served with a subpoena, Mr. Donatello. A what? A grand jury wants to ask you some questions. Friday, Grand State House, 10 a.m. You can bring a lawyer if you want. I told you I got nothing to say. We're determined to get Phil Landy, Nikki. So in addition to asking you questions about that incident on the Strip, we also believe that you might be involved in feeding cars into Landy's organization. It'll be up to the grand jury to determine what's what. I don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you try telling the truth? Yeah, right. Are you kidding? Is this a joke? Better bring a lawyer, Nikki. You don't want to perjure yourself. Sorry for the intrusion. Have a nice day.
What's this about? Nothing. It's crazy. Got me mixed up with somebody else or something. I'm not going to say anything. You're not telling me the truth. I helped my brother out last night. He owed Phil a lot of money. We stole a car. Your brother owed Phil a lot of money. So you stole the car? <sighs> Sally, wait up. I thought I was doing the right thing. It's not what you think. It was for my brother. Maybe we should just leave each other alone before one of us gets hurt. Phil, let me explain. I was just on my way to pay you back. You're too late, Richie. Oh, no. You got a lot of style, Richie. I'll give you that. But you lack character. You steal a car from one of my own people, and then you try to pay me back with my own money? Get it, man. There's a certain balance there, Phil. There was a brown leather briefcase in the back seat of that car. In it was a book. Now, that book is very important to me. Why it was so carelessly left in the back seat of Raymond's wife's car. Well, that's something I'll deal with later. But right now, I want my book. I don't know nothing about your book, Phil. What am I doing talking to you, Richie? I should be talking to your brother, Nicky. No, Nicky don't know nothing about this. Yeah, right, Richie. What do you think? Do you think I'm stupid? I don't think you're stupid, Phil. I just think you got a, a tiny personnel problem. <laughs> oh! It's... Are you having fun yet, Richie? I mean, are you finding joy and pleasure in all this? Because there's a lot more where this came from. All right, okay, okay, time out. I'm, it's starting to come to me now, Phil. Uh, yeah. Brown briefcase. It was in the back seat, and it's got to be halfway to South America by now. I didn't look at it, I swear to God. Are you sure about that, Richie? I'm sure. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? I'm not lying. We got the car, Richie. It's empty. There's no briefcase. There's no book. You sold it to people who I do business with. It was in Raymond's driveway 24 hours after you sold it. <laughs> No kidding. Now, you go to your brother, and you tell him that I want my book. Now, do you understand me? Yeah, sure, Phil, I'll tell him. But I'm a little bit indisposed at the moment. We know where he is. Richie, did you say, did you say that you needed a lift? Is that what you said? He needs a lift. Piece of garbage. Sally, it's me. I want to talk to you. Sally, open up. Sally, let me in. Just go away. Get out of here. You're crazy. Get out. I'm not leaving till you talk to me. Just leave. Can't you see? I don't want to talk to you. Do you want to be with me? I want you to tell me, Sally. It's not about wanting, Nikki. I trusted you. I believed in you. I wanted you to be the one person that I didn't have to make up. Something happened between us last night. You can't just run away. I gotta hear the words, Sally. Do you love me? Just go. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving.
didn't want to run away. I just wanted you to be real. I didn't make you up, did I? What is it? I don't know. Oh my God, Richie! Nikki? Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! Hey, hold on, Richie. That girl we stole was Rims. They think you got the book. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, just take the girl. Take the girl and go. Easy, Richie. Brother and me never had a smooth day. There's always too many kinks in Richie's line to reel him in straight. What do they say? They're being cautious. God, I feel like one of my legs been sawed off. Why don't you tell him, Dad? Tell him what? That you miss him. You know, Richie is more like you than I am. He has a lot of pride. So it's been tough for him to open up to you. You're right. I love him, too. Sally. After my mom died, my dad and my brother started fighting. I always try to fix things up between them, but nothing ever worked. I never changed anything. It's hard to change things, Nikki. You think turning that book in will change anything? They're gonna race tonight just like Phil planned. Kids are gonna be there with their money. And Phil or somebody else is going to be there to take it. You think it's different anywhere else? It doesn't have to be this way. You can get out of here. You don't have to be one of the good guys anymore. I'm going to go outside for a while. Why'd you rat? You ruined it for everybody. Nikki? I can't believe he did that. I mean, he loved this car. It was the only thing he really cared about. 
Let's just get out of here. You don't deserve this. I've been missing the big picture here, Sally. I mean, I love this place. But I've never really stopped to see what's going on. Well, I'm looking now, Sally. I'm looking now. And it's time to make some changes. And I might as well start tonight. What are you thinking, Mickey? You thinking you're gonna go back down there? These are the same guys who almost killed your brother. What do you think they're gonna do to you? Don't play Phil's game, Nikki. Don't go. I'm not going down there to hurt anybody, Sally. I just wanna let them know that I'm still around. I'm still gonna be here long after they've picked up and gone away. Understand? Huh? Turn in the book. They want you in. They got an indictment with your name on it. What do you want to do if he comes around tonight? What do you want us to do? You let him come. Now nobody touches him. You hear me, Pitts? I want him for myself. Well, what do we do with the pro from Atlanta? <sighs> Nothing. He sits it out tonight. You're not in the bar, Nikki. You're finished. Get out of here. Stand up! You go home, you little snitch, before you get hurt. You don't own this strip, Phil. No? Well, whose strip do you think this is? Take a look around, Nikki. This is mine. I set it up. I make the payoffs. You're through. I just want to look in the eye one more time, one more time before you're gone for good. 
What, the book? They got nothing on me. Nothing. I walk away from that. Wrong. You're a rat, Nikki. You hear me? You're a rat. And everybody knows it. Now, you never race here again. You don't race here no more. You don't even exist. What I did was right, Phil. You don't value nothing. All that charm going for you, all the kids looking up to you. Well, you don't care about people. You never did. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do about it? Whatever it takes. I'm standing here. There ain't nothing but air between me and you. So come on. Come on, kid. Show me what you got. Come on. Show me what you made. Come on. You got to have more than that dimwit brother of yours. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong package. Now, why don't you go scrape your boyfriend off the ground? Nikki? We're gonna get you out of here, Nikki. We're gonna get you out of here. Okay. Nikki, you came here to start something, and you gotta finish it. Nikki. Pull the car in line, Jamie. I'm gonna race. You can't race like this, Mickey. You can't race like this. Help me get him up. No! Help me get him up. Come on, you can do it.
it go, Jamie. Let it burn. All that work. It's your turn now. 